you step back, and I, I want all the Beck listeners, just step back, all right? Get out of your I hate Trump or I love Trump mode. Just just whip that away for a couple of hours. And, and if you know what's happening here, it is just atrocious for this country. And, and I can't tell people enough that there's so much danger not that he might be removed from office. He's not going to be removed from office, all right? And not that the press is a fraud. We know the press is a fraud. But it's the coordination now mm. of the information flow to the American person. We, we, is, I laid this out on a chalkboard, Bill. The one thing I can do, it's the only skill I have, is I can connect dots and tell a very complex story simply and I'm telling you, Bill, I laid it out all documented. We have all of the emails and the, everything else. It's everything I said was documented. And we have the Obama administration uh, and the DNC tying the DNC to the DOJ, to the CIA and to the Ukrainian prosecutors. And they were running it all through our embassies. It's stunning stunning everything they said that trump was doing in russia all of the evidence is there that's what they were doing in ukraine let me let me just tell you something when i was researching the united states of trump i spent some time with the president and a lot of that time was off the record time where he just riffs because i've known him for 30 years and we just go back and forth and it's not stuff that i i'm going to report because it's an understand this is an o'reilly trump conversation okay but i think i can tell you this he is absolutely crazed that Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and Joe Biden mm -hmm. have, in his opinion, mm -hmm. gotten away with all kinds of subversion, not only of the campaign in 2016, but other stuff. Seven because now billion dollars. Seven yeah, now billion. Now as president, he sees mm -hmm. the intel report, so he can call up the NSA and the CIA and go, send over this report. So now he sees it. So he tells me in one of our conversations. But to stop the music, I'm going to get these guys. I'm going to get these guys. I'm going to expose them. And I say, be careful. Be careful. Now, this is in the book. All right. So he says, I'm going to get to the bottom of this because I'm the only one who can do it. And then I'm going to bring it out. And everybody's going to see how these three individuals corrupted the process. And I looked at him. I said, you're naive. I'm, this I'm saying as the president of the United States. I said, the press will never report that no matter what you have. They'll never do it. And they'll turn it around on you. So be careful. And that's exactly what has happened. When you have Joe Biden saying, I did this, I went to a foreign country, threatened them with withholding a billion dollars in loans, unless they fired some guy that I, Joe Biden, have nothing to do with. But he's looking into a company where my son is getting paid okay. large dollars. Stop. Stop right there. Go. People have heard okay. this. People have heard this. And they're like, yeah, well, that's not what is it about. I want you to watch the special last night. We lay it out. It is documented. There is testimony on what he was trying to stop. He was protecting a, a, uh, uh, a, 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 a foundation uh, for anti-corruption, which lost $2.2 million. The main funder of that was the USAID and George Soros. And his son, I have the I have the sworn affidavit from the prosecutor who said he was angry with me because I wouldn't stop the investigation on Burisma. They never said what I was doing wrong. Joe Biden said he has to stop with Burisma. So everything that Joe Biden says that, no, 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 he was just corrupt. It's not true. And it's documented it's documented. Okay, so I assume that Adam Schiff has subpoenaed you, and you're going to go testify yeah, in front no. of his intelligence committee in the no, House. Is that correct? No, uh, no. no. In fact, Adam? you're not going to see any of these documents in the mainstream press. 
They're all, by the way, on glenbeck.com today. <sighs> Look, this is the story. This is the story. The story is there is not a fair process, not only in the media, we know that's corrupt, all right, but in the annals of our government. So, so they have hatched, the anti-Trump people, a scenario where they're saying there's an abuse of power because Donald Trump tried to undermine the election by, um, of 2020 by eliciting help from Ukraine and China. That's it. That, that's what they have. That's what they're going in with, okay? It doesn't matter whether Trump uh, did it partially because he wanted to root out corruption. It doesn't matter. They're not going to even consider that. However, the Senate will, and it'll get thrown out in two days. That's what's going to happen, because Trump has cover. And the cover is he's the chief law enforcement officer of the country as president. There is an active corruption investigation involving Ukraine, and all he did was ask the Ukrainian president to do him a favor and cooperate. Okay. That's... All right. You're right. You're right. And uh, but let me share some um, text messages that just came out from the testimony yesterday. Um, And let me play devil's advocate and read these text messages to you and then get your response, because uh, it just they the the administration just cannot get out of its own way. We'll go there in one minute. All right. I want to get to the text messages. Bill, have you seen the text messages? Some of them. Okay. Um, The text messages um, are between uh, the European ambassador. um, Who else is? uh, U.S. diplomats, largely. Yeah, all U.S. diplomats. um, And I think there's one Ukrainian on the line. And they're talking about uh, the Ukrainian saying, okay, so what are we supposed to be doing? And they're drafting a, uh, 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 a press release for the Ukrainians saying that they are opening up investigations or they are continuing the investigation on Joe Biden. And then it gets a little squirrely. Uh, they say things like, I think it's crazy to withhold security assistance for help with a political campaign. Um, saying And the, political, uh, the security assistance being the money that's been talked about um, they say they potentially withholding that. Bill Taylor, who is the uh, you know lead U.S. diplomat to Ukraine, says, uh, "Are we now saying that security assistance and White House meeting are conditioned on investigations?" And then uh, the other diplomat responds, "Call me." Uh, and then uh, the other, let's see, we have um, uh, we had a good lunch. Thanks. Heard from the White House, assuming President Z, the president of Ukraine, has convinces Trump that he will investigate, get to the bottom of what happened in 2016. We will nail down a date for the visit to Washington. Um, and this one, Bill Taylor, I, as I said on the phone, I think it's crazy to withhold security assistance for help with a political campaign from that. That happens. Then five hours go by in which, uh, Gordon Sunland apparently meets with Trump and then comes back and responds and says, Bill, I believe you are incorrect about president Trump's intentions. The president has been crystal clear that no quid pro quos of any kind. The president is trying to evaluate whether Ukraine is, is, is truly going to adopt the transparency and reforms that president Zelensky promised during his campaign. I suggest we stop the back and forth by texts. If you still have concern, I recommend you give Lisa Kenna or S a call and, and discuss directly. Okay. What happened, Bill? Nothing. I mean, you have one guy who's interpreting it as a threat uh, and as a campaign play. And then you have there's two ways. There's two ways. We know how the press will read this. There's two ways of reading yeah, this. The press, but you got to no, know about the press. I know you, you got to go to the Senate now. So if you're a senator, you're looking at both of these things. There's reasonable doubt because re- the other guy said he asked a question. Are you telling me that this is what we're doing now? He didn't say this is what we're doing now. That's number one. And number two, Sunderland, the guy who replies, said there's no quid pro quo. Anyway, I'm not naive, and, and Trump is not a Boy Scout. So anybody who believes that Trump would not use bad information against Joe Biden in the campaign is living in the land of Oz. Mm-hmm. He would. Okay, everybody knows that, but he has the right as president 
to spur people to give him information about what he believes is corrupt. And and I'll go back to my original statement, which was um, nine months ago. He was railing to me. I'm going to expose this corruption. had nothing to do with the 2020 election. And there were three people involved, not just Biden. Mm -hmm. So I know what happened. I know what was in his mind because I discussed it with him at length. I will That's tell you that I... Act. You don't have a lot of guests who can come in and say that on your show. <laughs> no, um, but I will tell you this. I do have a lot of phone calls uh, off the air uh, and off record that uh, will tell me the same thing. I, I said... Yeah, you're, you're not doubting me. No, I'm not doubting you, you at all. You know I'm an honest man. Well, I also, but I, I also it. have sources myself that tell me exactly the same thing. One source, yeah. one source told me last week, I said... What, did somebody write this part down and, you know, it seemed like he wanted to get to the, the Hunter Biden stuff and he was talking about, uh, you know, the the computer and it sounded like he didn't really understand what was going on. And this person told me, Glenn, have no doubt about one thing. This president knows what was going on in Ukraine, has known about it for at least a year, probably closer to two and is crazed about this. There, there is go. one thing that he knows every single jot and tittle about, and it is Ukraine. Uh, and I, I believe that. Of course. If, if you read, and you did, the United States of Trump, he is obsessed, yeah. obsessed with the people who tried to frame him up in the Russian collusions thing. He's obsessed with them. And you will right? see, so you, that's what led to this phone call in July with the Ukraine president, and because he's crazed about it, and it makes perfect sense. There's a logic to it. So last night in the special, we gave you the documents and the name of the DNC operative, uh, Alexandra uh, Chalupa, and what she did working with the press, Ukrainian prosecutors. Um, and through the embassies to get all of this dirt back and forth. And that is the genesis. I believe she is the genesis of the Russia thing. This is long before Manafort, long before Carter Page or anything else. There was no FISA. There was nothing. This is long before, at least a year before. And she starts saying, hey, I think I know what's going on. It's a, it's a Russia connection. And well, that's it's a frame up. Yeah, right. it's a frame. It's up. a frame. And but the American people, I believe, will get the information, even though it's not going to be reported by the uh, national media. They'll get it. They'll get it from you. They'll get it from me. They'll get it from other people. It'll come out. But but here's what happened this week. That's a big one. So the whistleblower who they've been trying to make into Nathan Hale. Oh, what a this is a patriotic man. He, oh, look at him, and he puts his life on the line for his country. Well, again, what, what did he do before he went to the Inspector General of the Intelligence Services? He took a little detour into Adam Schiff's office. Oh, <laughs> what a surprise. And all of a sudden, he's got three lawyers after he comes out of the meeting with Adam Schiff. Does this uh, remind anybody of Christine Blasey Ford? Exactly. A little detour into exactly. Diane Feinstein's office. Exactly. And emerge with this radical left firm from yep. D.C. Okay, hang on, okay. Bill. I want to pick that up right there because there's more to that story. Uh, <clears throat> and we'll talk about that when we return with Bill O'Reilly, his new book, The United States of Trump, a must-read. It's available everywhere. So the markets were expecting a very bad day today uh, because of the jobs report, but the jobs report is out. It's down now to, what, 3.5? 3.5 in unemployment numbers. 3.5%. That's the lowest it has been since 1969. And you wonder why the media is not reporting anything like that. Um I can't believe this guy is is struggling at 3.5% un, uh, unemployment. Bill, let me go back to the whistleblower. 
I think Donald Trump was absolutely correct when he said, I'll not, not only did Schiff know about it, I think Schiff helped write it. Well, lawyers that he directed, the guy to yeah. did that. I, I don't think Schiff is capable of writing five sentences. I don't. I mean, have you ever heard the man speak? Um, but it's, a, it's another example of how the American public's being deceived. Now, when it comes out that the guy made the detour, and, and I have to give the New York Times a little credit for this because they did report it. Um, you know, you, you turn on the TV and you expect that to be discussed. That, that's ignored. So that's where we are. That's where we are in this country now. Yeah, you know, I got to tell you, I can't. You know, I don't give. We are. I, I don't give the New York Times a pass. They they report on a lot of stuff. I mean, some of much of the stuff that we reported in this timeline last night has been reported on by the New York Times, but they bury it and then they never come back. And so, that's right. that's I mean, right. that that's that. This is the sin and the crime of omission. They're not yeah, committing also, anything. It's omission. They're just deceitful. Um, yes. he, here's a little aside you might find amusing. You've been very helpful in uh, promoting the United States of Trump. And the first six days the book was out, it sold 110,000 copies. All right? That's pretty good. 3% of that is mine, so I, I don't mind that yeah, 3% I mean, well, commission. We're, we're going to send you uh, a lot of bagels and, and other things. Um, so... I'm number three, though, on the New York Times bestseller list. And I go, that's impossible. The New York Times ignored, you ready? 78,000 pre-sales. That means people who ordered before the book came out. Why? 78,000. They ignored it. Came from a place called Ingram. That's who ships books out. Everybody in the book industry knows it. And the New York Times ignored it. So they could put me... Number three. Unbelievable. Now, this is the kind of stuff that nobody knows, but it is flat out designed. It's like going it's like going to a third world country now to go in and consume the media. You're going to get shaken down. You're going to get extorted. You're going to get threatened. They're not going to do what they're supposed to do. I mean, this is where we are. It's just a catastrophe. I, I will tell you, last night, the New York Times says, I'm getting ready to put this timeline out. And I don't think the story was written uh, up, you know, for me or about me. Um, I, I think this they're so terrified of this narrative getting out. But about an hour before we went on air, the New York Times released a story that said uh, these conspiracy theories of corruption in Ukraine are taking over with the with the right. And uh, and and crazy people are starting to spread these conspiracy theories. And I thought, wow, that's that's interesting because everything I, I have on the board is you. confirmed. <laughs> I think that was about you, Beck, when I heard crazy people. I mean, you know. <laughs> Thank you for that. So, so Bill, I, let I me ask you, really you this. really dominated that. When, um, I, when I saw Nancy Pelosi yeah. say, you know, no impeachment, no impeachment, no impeachment, and then she gave her speech and she was like, and this, and we're going to wait tomorrow until oh, this, this comes out. Oh, this is terrible now. Okay. Uh, look, so wait, 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 wait. Can I, wait, let me, let me do my Nancy Pelosi. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I'm praying for the president. I'm praying for him, uh, and I want to be fair, even though he's the worst felon I've ever seen in public office, <laughs> and he committed heinous crimes against the Constitution, but I want to be fair, and, and I have a rosary that I just said for him, <laughs> Nancy Pelosi, and I approve this message. All right, so, I mean, this is unbelievable. So, when, so Nancy Pelosi, is yeah. it just me? Because I remember watching that going, you don't have the memo. It's going to be released to you guys. Tomorrow, what, how can you make a decision when you don't know what the whistleblower said? It was my oh, understanding that she her. didn't have any access, but we now know, well, they knew it for weeks. God told her, Beck. Right. But wait, while, while is that praying. normal that you would know something that was held back from Congress? Is, is it normal that she would have had that in advance? Did she say, I've Schiff already seen that? Her. Huh? Schiff gave it to her. No, I know Come that. On. I know that. But but that's yeah. not normal at all that she would have had prior knowledge. And she never said in advance, I've already seen it. Did she? You know, all of this works to Trump's advantage. You know that, right? All of this crazy, insane overreaction uh, and all of it 
Because he's sitting back down and he's going, you know what? I know I'm not going to get booted and I'm going to use this. And I'm going, that's why I came out yesterday with the China thing. Yeah, I want the China thing to investigate the Bidens, you know, because he knew they go wild. All right. So he's making a calculation and it could be uh, an accurate one that all of this is going to get him reelected. That's what he's doing right now. Donald Trump. Okay, so then help me out on one thing. Um, yeah. Because I really believe that he, if I were in his situation, after I put this timeline together, I've not seen anyone put the whole timeline together of a five-year period. When I finished that, I walked back from the chalkboard with, with two researchers, and we all said the same thing. Holy cow. When we looked at it for the first time in a timeline, not jumbled, not you know all apart— You see this corruption. That is what Donald Trump understands. And I understand. I'd be crazy about uh, about all of this. This week in the Oval Office, he, you know, he had a a bit of a meltdown, which doesn't help him Um, is can he hold it together, hold his frustration? I I disagree with you. I thought I, I didn't think he had a meltdown. I thought that was the best thing he's done in three weeks. He needs to address the American people in a passionate way. He needs to say this whole thing's a con, all right, and, and, and uh, Biden's corrupt. Who's getting hammered worse here? Biden is, not Trump. Trump's supporters are still there. In fact, he's probably added support. Biden's done. Biden's done. You see the, the latest polling? His, his, uh, his uh, donations to Biden campaign down 70%. He's finished because you can't do what he did and brag about it. Everybody saw the tape. All right. And then the the Democrats going, look at this. So Biden is the guy that's getting it worse than Trump. And Trump, I think, is going to be right. This is going to help him. You know, the whole process continues to backfire on the hate Trump press. Everything they try to do strengthens him. And that's where we are right now. And on Monday night, after I get through watching and digesting all the Beck brilliance, I'm going to lead with this on the no-spin news. I'm going to lead with what you came across. And I'm going to put it there for my people and get it out on a, a bunch of tweets. But I want to take my time, and I want to see what you've got. And we're I'll going to lead you, with it on Monday night on the no-spin I'll news. I'll send you the, the most important – I'll send you the chalkboard segment because that's what you need to see. Um, okay. and, and the, I'm going to have, have my producer get in touch with you. Don't, don't send it to me. All right. Send it to them so we can do it in an orderly manner. All right. All right O'Reilly.com right. will be the Beck show on Monday night. All right. <laughs> um, let me ask you one last thing. I, I believe it's going to be Elizabeth Warren because Bernie Sanders uh, is now just had a yep. heart attack. I don't yeah, think he right. comes back from that. I mean, at least nope. polling. Uh, ways I wish him the best. I I hope that he but recovers here, fine. Back. Pardon Bernie's me. Bernie's going to go. Bernie's going to go to the debate on October fifteenth. So as people say, he's going to be there. But the problem is, he's going to be on a gurney. Yeah. So is Bernie on a gurney? I mean, I, I have right, to tell you. Stage. It, I mean, my yes. wife, my wife would hand my head to me if I had a heart attack and two weeks later I said, "No, I am going to the debate in two weeks. I'm going to do it." My wife would be. She'd be. She'd kill me. <laughs> she'd be like, well, she, she'd be done. She she'd likes like, you. She right. likes you. Guys. I know. I know. See, uh, with, in my circle, they go, go, Bill. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> I don't have anybody like that. <laughs> right. All right. All right. Well, the, the Bernie on a gurney line was a brilliant line, and you both ignored it. So, okay, yeah. I, was, well, I know your audience because she's O'Reilly brilliant again. Yeah. Nails it again. Yeah. All right. So, so I want everybody this weekend to go to BillOReilly.com. We have great analysis on this whole thing. Please pick up the United States of Trump, Beck's favorite book. Beck is giving it out for Christmas gifts. Is that correct? Is that what I understand? Sure. <laughs> Okay, good. You heard him, and he is trustworthy. If he says sure, you know he's going to do it. Bill O'Reilly for BillOReilly.com. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Always a pleasure, guys. All right. Bye-bye. We'll talk to you.